After you win game three to get yourself back in the series 2-1, Steve Audio all of a sudden game four becomes the pivotal game. Well, you look at it right now, the Brampton Battalion could go up 3-1 in this series, and at that point, this one might be a little bit too out of reach for Mississauga. But if Mississauga wins this game, it could be it's back to anybody's series after. Does as the majors work the right wing with Pellick on the wall for Dogovitz. Caspers Dogmans has Fleming with the stick ready. There's a shot and scores! Mayer in the slot with six seconds remaining in the power play and the Majors are on the board first. Well, some good puck movement by the Majors down low enables Jordan Mayer to get that goal in the slot. Mississauga's power play, they usually have tried just to put it back to the point, get some screens, but they also try to utilize this play as well. Because Brampton was able to cover the point so well in this power play, Mississauga utilizing the play down low here instead and finding the open man in the slot. Nice passing play from Pellick to Jordan Mayer and to the back of the net, and Mississauga capitalizing on the power play, 1-0. For Mississauga. Quick shot right off the faceoff by Hodgson, and that is Mayer's second goal of the playoffs. 13 56 series. Nice play down low. Duchesne stopped by Anderson. Loose puck. Anderson covers up again, but it's free to the corner. 10 seconds left in the period. 30 left in the power play. Day opens it up. Duchesne scores. It found a hole, and Anderson, who thought he was there, Smacks his stick out of the ice, a pair of power play goals in this opening period, and we're tied at one. Yeah, J.P. Anderson thought he had that one. It hit on his pad, but found a seam through those pads, through the wickets, as the pass will come back to Duchesne, and he just one-times it, and he could not, J.P. Anderson could not close the five-hole quick enough. And look at that, Matt Duchesne talked about how quick he's able to get that shot up here, the one-timer, it's just, Perfect, right through the legs of J.P. Anderson. Team that they are today. Clark gives it away, Kermashian. Stop of the circle, scores! Majors take the lead! Three minutes and 56 seconds into the second period. Well, that is huge for Mississauga, getting a goal this early in the second period when it looked like Brampton was the team that had the momentum in this game, but on a play from behind the net, Mississauga is able to beat Thomas McCollum for the second time on only six shots on goal right now. Mississauga takes the lead as we see McCollum just getting beat right there. The team remains outside of Deshane's goal. A little quiet so far this evening. Well, this is what they needed a turnover. The blue line scores! Tansky, make no mistake. And that's exactly what the Majors did. You want to turn the puck over in that area of the ice, you are going to pay for it. And you don't have to tell the players who were part of this mishap. They knew it as it happened. Well, just after Mississauga had gained control it seemed, and seized the momentum, Stajan and Tansky able to cause a turnover at the blue line of theirs and go in, use some speed, and they were able to outrace Billingsley. And Tansky with a very nice shot goes high blocker side on J.P. Anderson, tying this game up at two. Been an overwhelming factor tonight so far. Here's Gomes dragging it in. Nice move, Gomes back and scores! Casey Sezikis! And again, for the third time tonight, the Majors take the lead. Well, Jared Gomes making this play happen as he was able to carry it. And what he does so well, so often, he carries into the slot. He cradles that puck, gets that initial shot. Casey Zizekas, who had gone to the front of the net, was able to put that rebound home. Jared Gomes, the overrager, great speed down the wing, cuts to the middle, protects the puck, gets the shot off, and Zizekas there, who had gone to the net, puts it in. Some great play by two of the better offensive players on the majors. Gomes with his 11th point of the playoffs. Sezikis with the goal. That is his. Hodgson won it cleanly. Grachev takes the shot. Just tip wide near side. Centering pass in front. Scores! Grachev ties it up with 35 seconds to go. Well, Dan, you said it. The face-off was going to be so, so key. Brampton ended up winning. Cody Hodgson wins it clearly, cleanly off the draw. Gratchev gets the first shot, and then it's put back in front. Gratchev found 
himself all alone in front. Gogovins was not able to tie up his stick at all. And look at that, Gratchev able to put it in past J.P. Anderson. Gogovins has to get up there and play Gratchev a little bit tighter and tie up his stick. But a huge face-off win by Cody Hodgson. Boy, you have to give credit to the battalion. It looked like it wasn't going to happen tonight, and they just did not give up, and we are going to overtime. What a night in Mississauga. Well, the Brampton Battalion are going to have all the momentum right now as they head off for the intermission before overtime starts here, but credit to Brampton and Stan Butler drawing up a play. Cody Hodson winning the draw, and they were able to get that goal and tie this game up. Time Mississauga on the power play. Brampton tied this game with 35 seconds to go in the third with a six on five. Kaspers Dogovitz, Cameron Guns. Dogovitz loves to shoot from here down low. Scores! <laughs> William Wally! The Majors tie the series at two apiece. And as Dan Dunleavy would say, from Stockholm to Mississauga, William Wally ends it for the Mississauga Majors. Huge goal, just like they did in the first period. Some great puck movement down low. Michael Pellick once again spotting his man. Here's Dogman to Pellick to Wallin and to the back of the net. And this is a huge victory for the Mississauga Majors who had lost the lead with only 20 seconds to go in the third period. Well, they rebound here and they do it on the power play. Great pass by Michael Pellick, one of the huge contributors all season long, Michael Pellick, and to one of the feel-good stories of the year, William Wally from Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah, he's pumped. Yeah, he's excited. And there's your celebration. Mississauga has tied this series at two. Hey, let's talk more importantly. Who did he make look smart? Come on now. <laughs> Roger Lejoie is down between the benches. He'll get a guest for us in the post-game show coming up. And William Walleen. He didn't do a heck of a lot tonight on the score sheet. It was one of those nights he was fighting it a little bit. Didn't look like he had a lot of gas in the tank, but he kept coming. And a tough break we mentioned for Brampton taking that penalty by putting the puck over the glass in your own zone. But credit Mississauga for putting the pressure on and forcing that type of clear. And also, Brampton had a couple of opportunities to clear that puck, but they could not get it out. Mississauga, with some good work along the boards, were able to keep it in the zone. And then Cameron Gods was able to get it around and worked it down low to Michael Pellick. And Pellick found Mr. Walleen with the goal.